going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms of Build Lab. Hashtag Farm Top Top. Today, we've got 21 PC mods in testing. We have 47 console mods in testing. North Modding Company updates us on the NMC trucks. A-Dub's got a new mower. CM Mods is getting very close to finishing Lawfold's farm. Missy e. B's got an important announcement. Plus, custom modding show off their upcoming John Deere air drill. Let's check them out. In testing for PC, we have Agricultural Shed, Boxes Pack, Bunker Silo, Deezer TPX 36S, Forest Prowler, Fortuna FTM 200, Gable, Garage, Hollingsfeld Maze Plus version, La Petite OS, LED Headlight, Le Chazette, Linder Geotrack Series 4 Pack, Milk Pier, Nokian Tires Tractor King Wheels, Package with Wind Turbines, Pronar T680, Silo Prefab, Upper Link Cylinder Pack, Valtra Wheel Weights, and Waiting Workers. In testing for console players, we have the 20-foot Gooseneck Tipper Trailer, 20-foot Gooseneck Trailer, Arado Lizard 1828, Agricultural Model 2, Bond. Barn, Big Garage, Concrete Bunker Set U, Concrete Shed, Crane Building, Dimcon PL10, Diesel Tank, Euro Tunnel Single Arc, Flashlight, Flegel ASW 281, Grain Storage, Gravity Wagon, Harrow 5, Hydrant, John Deere 7R, 8R, 8RT, 8RX 2020 US version, John Deere Cutter Trailer Pack, Kaminki, Crone Swadro Pack, La Cornella 2.0, Lizard 25R4N, Lizard D46, D46, Forty-seven pack Lizard Gold Eleven Thousand XL Lizard Metal Trailer Lizard Sam Twenty M Lone Oak Cow Husbandry New Grain Storage Oberleitner Old Brick Wall Old Fence with Gate Old House Osterwitko Pack Roland Placeable Ramp Sad Cow Sammy Lamborghini Hurleyman One Ninety Horsepower Seasons Geo North Tyrol Shed Shed Pack Six Ashes Small Shed Star Hercules Six Star Revoke Ninja Sixteen Thousand and the TLX 2020 series. With all that being said, we still have 144 mods sitting waiting to be tested, and the current average waiting time of newly submitted mods is seven work days. North Mining Company finally had the NMC trucks in game as shown off during Xcut's YouTube video released later yesterday. He says that they are far from perfect and far from done, but they are progressing very nicely. He says we will definitely be seeing the Skerrick update before the trucks themselves release. By the looks of it, NMC Skerrick is getting the 1500, 2500, and 3500 treatment as well, just like the other three trucks. Pretty much making this a four truck pack if you think about it, with the Skerrick being separate from the pack itself. The beds for the trucks will be separate pieces rather than customization options like we thought before, exactly like the bed system for David's TLX 2020 series. There's a lot of talks about the beds from the TLX and the NMC trucks working together, but that has yet to be determined. Xcut goes on to say that the NMC trucks will not have a ball hitch for the goosenecks. However, their fifth wheel option works just fine, so they're going to be going forward with that on all models. Along with that, all the trucks will have the same interior, that way more attention can be paid to the outside while still keeping the interior functional. Again, we will see the Scaric update with all the new features first, then sometime after that, we will see the other three. Ada Modding has gotten his hands on a new mod, the Massey Ferguson Swath Roller. He says it still needs some recoding and some UDIM to be complete. He will also have a Challenger version of this as well, and naturally, he's already broken it. CM Mod says that the sheep are in on Lawfold's farm, now on to the cows, then all the animals are done, including the pigs. Some minor things still need to be done, like water points, fuel points, etc. However, this map is moving along very quickly. CM Mod says that the map should be completed in approximately two weeks. At that point, it will be sent off to testers with a first look coming soon as well. You guys know how much I love this map, and I cannot wait to get on here. Missy B updates us on the progress of her bunker shed. She has sent off an update to Giants for this mod. It says that the update is 100% optional. If you are not experiencing any issues, do not update. However, if you are having problems with the mod, then please update to the latest version once it releases. She also wants to know, what do you think of this? What do you think it could be used for? I say we have a game of tractor chess, but that's just me. What do you think? And lastly today, custom modding looked to have their John Deere C850 air cart and 1870 air drill in game and did a test stream yesterday on Medicine Creek. Everything with this machine looks to be in working order, and I know a lot of you are very excited to see something like this in game. They didn't say anything about when they plan on sending it off for testing, but they did say soon in your mod folder. Usually custom modding does not play around with things like this or the wording wise, so we could see this in testing very soon. 
This is going to be a mod that is made for all platforms. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. There's no release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those other projects that you're interested in, and make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace! Is it just me, or is today a good beard day? Today feels like a very good beard day to me.